part two. So in the last video, we went over the basic composition and we got this done by importing DAS and just doing a little bit of duplication and mirroring on this. In this one, we're going to be filling in the background a little bit. So to get started, let's add a mesh of an icosphere, subdivide it four times, size it up on the nine, go to local view, go to edit, change x-ray up here in the upper right hand corner. We're going to select this half of it, and we're going to delete those faces. Go back to object, we're going to right click and shade smooth. All right, let's go back into here. Let's just move this over here so we can look at it by itself real quick. Rotate it on the X 90, rotate it on the X 180 just so it's facing forward like that. We're going to go Shift S, cursor to selected. Then once we get the cursor to selected, we are going to add an empty, empty plane access and just size it up a little bit. Click on this. Go to Array, go to Object Offset, turn all of it off, get the empty as the object, select the empty, and then we're going to rotate it on the X, 270, so that it's facing forward like that. Just size it up until it is just under the other one. Go back in this, just add a couple more, let's say like the solidify to here just so we can see it a little bit better. Got the empty again and then we're going to rotate it on the y-axis. Or actually I'm just going to free rotate it. So double tap R and then move it around until you get some sort of cool effect like this. All right perfect. All right now we're going to go like this back on the original and just turn the array off for the moment so we don't bog it down turn off the solidify actually delete the solidify hit end to open up your side panel we're going to go by gen make sure you're on the official pack down here on the mesh effects and then we're going to choose organic shell hit apply to selected and it'll turn it into that Add the array back. We're gonna go to object. We already have the setup perfect, so just go back to empty one, turn the relative off, and put it back up to what we had, which was eight. Now, if we snap back to this, we have a cool looking sort of abstract thing that we can throw behind it. We're gonna click on that. Click on the empty, make sure both are selected when you do this. Go to seven to go to top view, and then we're just gonna move it over here behind the main target. Go back in the camera, and just move it until we get it to about a location that we like. If you have to, you can move the back panel back farther, and then just size it up more so it fills everything up. Move this around a little bit more. And now that we got it here, you can either grab the empty, switch it off here on the local, we're going to move it on the x-axis, the z-axis actually. Just up a little bit so it fills up that corner. And let's see what this looks like. Alright, we're getting somewhat of a cool effect. Click back on that. We're going to open this up. We're going to go to the wireframe. We're going to divide the thickness by, let's say, three. Perfect. This. We're going to add, actually let's go back to object view first, <clears throat> and then let's add a mirror modifier. We have the mirror modifier, select empty, let's use the first empty, not the one that we're using for the array, and then it'll be mirrored over the X like that. Now we're getting this sort of look. If this is not working on your PC, you can always click on this, and go to the original subdivision, and then turn it down a couple notches. Personally, I think three looks the best. All right, now that we got that kind of cool background behind it, 
switch back to object view, mesh torus, and then down in here in the major radius, we're just gonna put it at eight meters. And once we get the torus, let's rotate it on the X90, and then move it back towards the center. And where is our first empty? Let's select this empty, and then put the cursor to the selected. We're gonna shade this smooth. And we're gonna move this so that it lines up perfectly in the middle of the cursor. Let's size it down a little bit, move it down on the Z. Make sure you switch back to global, or you can leave it at local, just don't get confused on which axis you're working on. Now we got some sort of cool effect right here, how it's behind some of the hands and in front of some of the hands. We're just gonna make this a different color right now just so we can see everything. These are not gonna be the final colors. I just find making everything a different color in the beginning just makes it a little bit easier to visualize what everything's going to look like. See how we chopped all this up in here and it's not being the same color? Select all the objects you want to select by holding down shift and clicking on them. For this, we're just gonna select all the hands. Click on the original object. Hit Control L and do link materials. I missed a couple of them. Same thing, click on them, click on the original object, Control L, link materials. I missed even more of them. Let's just grab all of those. Control L, <clears throat> link materials. All right, now for the floor. Let's go back to object view, local view, edit, shift A, actually right click, subdivide, we're going to subdivide it by 100. Go back to object view, now we're going to add a displace modifier, click on new, click on this little one right here that says show texture and texture tab, when you open this, change it from image or movie to clouds. Mess with the size until you get a size that you like. I'm thinking somewhere around there. And right click shade smooth this. Go back into modifiers, and get the strength where you want. If you want to fine tune it, if you hold down shift and move, it moves a lot less slower. All right, move this up to about where we think it should be. And switch back to all view. It's kind of messing with the legs right there, so I'm just gonna move it around until I get it to a point that looks acceptable to me. Kind of like it being under a little bit. Gonna size it up around there, rotate it, move it on the Y. Call that about good right there. All right, then we're gonna go Shift A, add another plane, size it by nine, Move it down so it intersects with that a little bit. Size it up a little bit. Move it down. This is gonna be the water in the final one. So we're gonna go tab, edit again, right click, subdivide, put it by 100 again. We're gonna do the same thing. Apply another displace. The same thing, clouds, except we're gonna turn this one way down just so it's barely on. I'm gonna go back here and turn this to like 0 0.02, maybe 0 0.08, just so we get a little bit of waviness. Right click, shade smooth. Let's go back into rendered view. Let's make the water real quick. Just make it a blue texture and just turn the roughness down and the transmission up for now. That'll just be our default placeholder. We're just gonna move it up until we get it to about the level we want. Perfect. All right, now we're gonna grab this. Hold D to duplicate it. Just size it up and move around a couple times. It doesn't have to be exactly like this. You can do it however you want, really. Until you get it looking how you want. Perfect. All right, now we're gonna go 
Control Shift A, Add a Mesh, Ecosphere, Subdivision is four. Switch back to Object View, go above it, size it, and move it forward on the Y axis in front of the face. Back to Camera View, we're gonna shade this smooth and move it down a little bit. hands until you get it located where you want. Again, none of this stuff has to be exactly like me. Use your imagination and do it how you want to do it. And then we're just going to duplicate this around a couple times, get it in front of all the hands. Go back to this front view with one, and then move them on the z-axis until they are where you want them to be. Side. Let's click on this real quick. We're gonna click on the balls, just add an emission shader just for now, just so we can see how it sticks out. Set it to a strength of 10. Let's go back to rendered view. Looking pretty good so far. I'm just gonna move this one down. Almost make it look like it's coming out of the heart. Perfect. intricate detail in the next video and then break down some more material stuff as well. See you there.